Will you get another bag out? Sure. Do you know if there's any more in the sink? I just brought some more in. Yesterday. There should be some. God, I feel like I'm gonna heave. Last night was insanity. I'm just surprised how many people showed up after the beta party. You know, it's a good thing we didn't get caught because we were only one morning away from being on social pro. Well, it was well worth the risk. Guess who came over last night? Him. <clears throat> Mac Templeton. Oh, <laughs> he's a bad man. Honestly, Kate, you say that about every guy. Nothing, I just, I had to get some work done. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, I just, I have to get this done. I have a makeup seminar tonight. Oh, English? Yeah, it's my seminar on friendship. Well, did you have fun last night? It was fine. I assumed you were having a good time since you got home so late. And at the party, I saw you and Dave talking in the corner for almost the whole time. I'm glad to see you're finally doing something about your mutual attraction. So, did you hook? Go get the phone and then I'll tell you. It's probably for you anyway. All right, but be right back. <coughs> Don't bullshit me, Liz. I know when you're lying. I'm not lying. Uh-huh. So what is it? Is it Dave? While he was changing, I was looking through the CD collection, and he had this great Neil Young import, so I asked him if I could hear it. And so we were just hanging out, listening to music, talking, and then we started kissing and fooling around. And? I don't know. Want to? No. Oh my God. I'm sorry. No. No, it's not what you think. What do you mean? He didn't attack me or anything. Well, did you he tell him that you didn't want to sleep with me? Well, him? yeah, but maybe he didn't. He didn't what nothing was. was. He took advantage of you against your will. You know what? Just, just forget it, Kate. I, I should have not even brought this up. I was just feeling a little weird about it, and I thought talking to you might make me feel better, but I guess I was wrong. Who's on the phone? My mom. She was calling to see when... What's going on? Nothing. <coughs> Daybreak Liz. Last thing. Are you all right, sweetheart? I mean... I'm fine. Kate is totally exaggerating. This is getting completely out of hand. Oh, is it really? What the hell is going on? Oh, is well, this a joke? Since I misinterpreted this whole thing, Liz, why don't you go ahead and tell Marjorie what happened last night? What? Dave and I were hanging out after the party last night, and we hooked up and ended up having sex, even though I really wasn't into it, all right? What do you mean you really weren't into it? <laughs> First we were just hanging out, listening to a CD, talking, and then I leaned over and I started to kiss him. I wanted to, I wanted to kiss him. And then he took off my sweater. 
sweater and we started getting into it. And he was so gentle and sweet. And then we were both naked and I was still having fun, but I knew I didn't want to have sex with him. And then when he asked, I said, I said, no, I didn't think I was ready. And he said, do you want to? And he kept, he kept asking, and I mean, I tried to explain to him it wasn't him. It's just I wasn't ready yet. And then he was on top of me. And I don't think he even realized what he was doing or that I didn't want to. He just, I don't know. I, I guess I had no business starting it. Sorry that happened, sweetheart. I'm sure Dave didn't mean to hurt you, though. He is one of our good friends. Oh, give me a break. Ignorance is no defense. You're saying that because Kate Dave is one of our best friends. Oh, so I suppose you're trying to tell me that you could only be raped by a stranger. No, that's, that's not what she's saying. He just got a little carried away. We, we'd both been drinking, and he just he wasn't thinking. A person under the influence of alcohol cannot legally give consent in sexual intercourse, so it doesn't matter if you said yes or no. Well, we still have no right to have sex with you. That's ridiculous, because then Dave could say that Liz raped him. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just saying theoretically. That's beside the point. We had both been drinking, and I should have known better than to put myself in that position. Liz, I'm not saying that you should try to avoid bad situations, but that doesn't mean that you should take responsibility for what happened. That doesn't mean that Dave didn't do anything wrong. Hey, they're both adults and both chose to go to Dave's room. I'm sure they both had a good idea that they would probably hook up, and even further, I'm sure they both wanted to. I just think that if a person can't handle a situation, they shouldn't put themselves in it. Oh, so you're saying that because Liz couldn't handle the situation that she just got what she deserved. I'm saying people should take some responsibility for themselves. Well, you all just stop! We're just trying to help you figure this thing out. Well, thanks, but I was already upset and confused. I was lying in Dave's bed last night, waiting for him to fall asleep. I think I was shaking because all I remember thinking was, why did you have to mess things up? Everything was going so well. His leg was on top of me, but I managed to get out without waking him up. And then I ran home and went straight to bed because I didn't want to think anymore. And then this morning when I woke up, I can help feel like this is somehow my fault, that I am somehow responsible. Liz. I understand how you feel, but don't let anyone try to make you feel that you're the evil temptress and that you started things that you saw them through Dave's desire to end. You know, you told him that you didn't want to have sex. You all right? Yes. Come in. Hey. Hey, Dave. What's up? Nothing. I was just riding my bike around the neighborhood, so I thought I'd stop by and see what you guys are up to. Uh, nothing. We are just cleaning this pit up a little bit after last night. I'm just going to take this bag out. Yeah, I heard you guys were raging pretty hard last night. Yeah, it was uh, pretty crazy. Sorry I couldn't make it by. I guess I crashed pretty hard. Uh, no, it's OK. I, I went home and went straight to bed, so it was uh, fine. Liz? If you're looking for me, um, I'm going to be next door talking to Davis. <coughs> but I should be back in a couple minutes. See you later, Dave. Later, Dave. So what's up with you? Nothing. Uh, I guess I'm just tired. I was pretty loud here last night. Yeah, I know it's like living in division. I mean, it gets so loud here sometimes. It's a good thing I'm such a sound sleeper. But it's almost impossible for me to study in my room. Yeah, I bet. When I woke up this morning and you weren't there, I was afraid something was wrong. No. Uh, no, I was fine. I, I just knew I had a lot of work to do today, so I didn't want to wake you up at the crack of dawn. I 
probably wouldn't notice. I just thought it was hogging the sheets or kicking you off the edge or snoring and driving you crazy or something. No, I was fine. Good. You're the first girl, sorry, woman, in a long time that I really feel like you get along with. God, I feel like a dork. I just wanted to tell you that I had a good time. Thanks. Listen, I know you have a lot of work to do tonight, so do I, but I was thinking maybe Tuesday night we could grab some beers and hang out. Sure. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go and let you get some work done. Okay. See you later. Bye. Phillips. I'd like to report a rape. 